Chef Pennington here. Today we're making homemade pimento cheese, a southern true staple. Absolutely delicious. We're going to use a very special ingredient. It's going to take it up a notch. This is a very famous thing to get when you're at the Masters Golf Tournament. When you're out in the course, one of the things that they do is they sell $1.50 pimento sandwiches, which is awesome. So here we go. We're going to start off with some sharp cheddar and some extra sharp cheddar. Those are very important ingredients. We're going to use some sour cream, some cottage cheese, chives, and here's our secret ingredient, guys. We're going to put some chipotle peppers in there, which is just going to give it a little bit of smokiness and a deeper depth of flavor. It's awesome. So here's one of the most important keys using a box grater. You want to get the texture on the cheese. You'll see that the grains are really long, and that's what's going to give us that pimento cheese texture that we're so used to having. So I've got about two cups there. It doesn't have to be very, very exact, but roughly two cups because when you're grating, Things aren't exact. And we're going to use about a cup here of extra sharp New York cheddar. You guys can find that at your grocery store. It's pretty common these days. We're going for a little over a cup. So we're going to have the link below with all the instructions and all the measurements for you. Nice and easy, guys. So this is an 8-ounce pack of cream cheese. If you let it come to room temperature, it's a lot easier to handle and mix together. Get some mayo in there, whatever your favorite is. We're going for four tablespoons here. And cottage cheese, make sure it's small curd, and that's the important part. We want it to offer great texture but not take over the dish and be all about cottage cheese. And honestly, if you don't like cottage cheese, you'll never even notice it's in there. But we're making a cheese dish, so the odds are you probably like cottage cheese too. But if not, you can skip that. It's about three-fourths of a cup. And that's what's fun about this dish is it is a little bit of approximates. You guys can do a little more of this, a little less of that. But the recipe I've got on the website is what I exactly did, and it turned out phenomenal. So I'm going to take two chipotle peppers. These ones aren't very large. And I'm going to mince them up as much as possible. Don't worry about the seeds. The seeds have been roasted. The whole pepper is much sweeter. This is not hot. This is more of a smoky flavor. So what I got in there was two teaspoons total. Two te heaping teaspoons. So you could go a full tablespoon, but I wouldn't. I'd just do two. And bring all that together. Now the reason we're mixing this up separately is we want to make sure that the, the, the cheese that we took the time to grate doesn't just get mushed into mush. We want to keep the textures. So we're going to add some chive. I took 10 chives there and just really make small cuts so that it just it will evenly disperse all over. And mix that in. And now we're going to bring in our cheese. And we're going to lightly fold everything together and... That's the way you do it, and that's part of the trick right there. We're preserving the texture of our grated cheese. And you guys might be asking, where's the pimentos? Well, same goes with the pimentos. We want to put them in very last so that they don't just get mushed, and the color could run all the way through the dish and kind of look too red, really, honestly. But just bring it to where it's well incorporated, and you're good. See the, see the color there? looks great. So do a little taste, see if it needs anything. Could need a little salt, a little pepper. I think the black pepper is one of the key ingredients. It's one of those times to really use a lot, if you like black pepper, of course. And then you're going to want to let this set up in the refrigerator for 24 hours or overnight. The flavors are so much different the next day and then the day after and the day after. So it's really amazing to, to kind of have your pimento cheese sit in the fridge only getting better for you. It's pretty cool. So do cover it. Pretty important. And there you guys go. You guys have got delicious pimento cheese. Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys over there. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed. Everything, all the measurements, everything will be on the website. And you guys have the best. Take care.